So today I've got a day off. It's uh, Friday, it's about 11 a.m. Um, and I decided I'll go out and do some light painting or something on my day off. Began to wonder where can I go? Somewhere a bit local, somewhere very dark, underground of course, and um, came to mind to come to this place. Now, this is quite a sad one because we've been here before, about a year ago, and um, since then a lot has happened. And this place has become more and more open. And I've seen a lot of photos coming out of um, just how trash this place is. Uh, so we're going to go through. We'll see how badly it's been trashed. Uh, I'll show you some of the things that I couldn't show you before. Um, now that this place has been completely hauled out, there's not going to be any harm in me showing you some of the things we couldn't show you in the first video where we were trying to protect the place. But uh, this place is well open to the elements now. So let's go through it, we'll have a look. Um, the inside, the door on the outside is completely covered in spray paint, so I hate to imagine what's happened inside. So let's go in and let's take a look around. Let's get a bit more light as well. Uh, so far, so good. This bit's at least clean. Yeah, look, starting to get more graffiti as we go in, but that's not too bad, it could be worse. It's a nice set of tunnels, these. These were, um, so originally this place was uh, air raid shelter for all of the factory workers, because uh, the plot of land in front of this place um, had several factories. Oh yeah, no. And they produced cabling primarily during the war. Um, and as it happens, when my first video on this place went out, uh, my dad actually saw it and asked what it was and I told him. And uh, it turns out my grandmother used to work in these factories, so would have used these air, sh air raid shelters. Unfortunately, she's no longer with us. Otherwise, I could have potentially got so much information off of her. So, let's keep going. I mean... Yeah, I mean, there's... No, that was there before, to be fair. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of rubbish down here now. Um, I mean, we're not in the main section yet. Yeah. So, yeah, as it's my day off today, and I'm on my own. Uh, I'm not too worried about kids being in here, because, you know, they'll be at school. Um, homeless people, yeah, you're not really going to get them around here. Uh, right, so there's some damage already. So, oh, I think my, I think my big torch is going to die soon. I'll have to switch over to the other one. Uh, these vents have been smashed through. Yeah, there's one of them. That was not like that one. When we came here, they were in place. They've, why would people do that? It's absolutely stupid. More rubbish. Lots of battery packs. It's just senseless. So yeah, moving on into the main part. Let's jump through this wall here. It's annoying. Ah, right, so I can actually see daylight right there in the end. That is another main entrance that's been uh, breached into. And already I can see a load of crap left here. There's a fucking table down here. Alright, let's have a look. Ooh. Bloody tripod. Right. Okay. So yeah, we're into the main part now. So yeah, this is a tip. Look at this. We'll go we'll go these ways in a minute. And another smashed vent. Look at this. Ah, oh, someone's... I mean, all these toilets... They used to be stacked a little neater than this. But look at this. Beer cans. Oh, dear. No drinks on the DJ's table. Well, I wasn't going to go into that story. I think I'll leave it alone. But there's a there's a reason why there's so much 
rubbish and beer cans and stuff down here. Uh, yeah. Well, I think that torch is dead. Let me throw that one back in the bag, get another one. Right, so I've got the head torch on the go now. Uh, so let's continue on. We'll uh, try and ignore the, the state of this place now. Disgusting. Let's go through. I'll start to show you something um, that I couldn't show you in the last video. Um, this piece of metal here actually plays a big part in that, so don't forget that piece of metal. Now, one thing we didn't show in our video was uh, was the ventilation, air filtration and ventilation room. Um, in hindsight, we probably could have showed you, but uh, yeah, this is this was never like this. I mean, it, it wasn't brilliant in this bit, but. Oh, they've even ripped that apart. Oh. So, has someone tried to nick that or something? They've proper wrenched it away from the away from the wall. So you can see some really cool old uh, power meters and stuff. But, uh, yeah, this place has been just... Uh, asbestos sheeting. So yeah, people people have been trying to nick stuff out of here as well. So above us we've got a walk tank. Um, we'll go around. Yep. Oh lovely. So, huh, how did I know that would go missing? Again on our flicker there used to be a... So, Oop, shouldn't say that. The people who uh, own the factory in this place also manufactured tyres and there was one of theirs here but someone's obviously disappeared with it. I'm not sure what that would have been for though, unless there's any markings on it. No, the little sign's gone. But yeah, what I'll do, I'll explain to you now how and why this place got trashed. Um, because for a, this place was actually open for many, many years but the way you got in was very, very difficult. <coughs> and this is it. So there's been a fire down this end. This was never like this. Someone's had a fire. There's a lot of burnt things here, but yeah. That was originally the way in. Give you some perspective as to how tight that is. Uh, that's my hand. Um, so what I'll do, I'll, uh, I did take a photo of how we got in when we did it last time, but obviously I didn't want to put it up. Um, so I'll put that on the screen now, uh, homemade single line rope ladder, and then you drop down there. And uh, because it was so difficult to get in, that's what protected this place. And uh, yeah, the reason why it got sealed, this piece of metal was put on two struts beneath that ventilation shaft to stop people getting in. And then what people did, lazy explorers. I decided to take out one of the actual entrances and uh, that's where that daylight's coming from so we'll go down and we'll take a look but uh, just trying to see I mean to be fair graffiti wise there's not there's not as much graffiti down here as I thought which is good there's not as much graffiti so I guess the reason why there's not as much graffiti down here is because, generally speaking, it's the kids that do it. Uh, frankly, they haven't got the balls to come down into the darkness. <sighs> but, you know, you'll get some kids with uh, with torches come down here and... Ah, oh, right, okay, so here's some more damage. Uh, this is the... Oh, my God. Yeah. And this is how people have been getting in. Right, let's take a quick look and figure this out. This was bolted to the wall. Where was it bolted? I thought there was someone out there for a minute. Yeah, so they would have been bolted into these holes. But, all the bolts are missing. I don't see kids doing that. Someone, someone's come in through the smaller opening and actually deliberately taken this down to make a bigger entry. Again, I have ideas as to why they might have done that, but I'm not going to. Uh, not going to. I'm not going to uh, 
speculator. And this has been pushed down. This was originally in front of here and you could squeeze past it. That's been completely smashed down. Uh, now, this bit of floor we have to be very careful on because it is very old wood and uh, can put your feet through it. So try to go, try to stand on between the boards so that you're spreading your weight. Uh, there's no point in me going down there. It's uh, another sealed door. So yeah, it's a uh, real shame to see somewhere like this in this state. Uh, I do appreciate that people come down into these places and they do open them up so they can have a look. But there's sensible ways of doing it and there's stupid ways of doing it. So let's keep going. We'll have a look. So, okay, so this here has also been done over. This was a big wooden panel here with a doorway in the middle. That's been completely smashed down. Uh, I'm surprised no one's tried to set fire to it. Camo net. <laughs> Right, okay. I'm not going to go any further into there because I imagine that's been used as a toilet. <laughs> tea lights, for Christ's sake. Yeah. Someone's been sleeping down here. That was never there. Fucking chair. Where the hell did that come from? This is turning into a bit of a rant video, I am sorry, but uh, this is a nice local local place that could have done without this. So yeah, let's... Uh, oh, look. oh yes, how f clever is that? And that's in lipstick. Fucking idiots. What? Broadway and Beverly hit the seat down? This sh doesn't even make sense. Yeah, there's a lot more. No, John, f who brings f crayons down here? Maybe it isn't lipstick. F idiots. <sighs> this was one of my favourite parts of the tunnel as well, because if I go forward a little bit, I'll turn around. I like the way it kind of narrows down there. Makes for a nice, good photo of that. Yeah, I do like this place lovely thanks for watching thanks for putting up with my rant um, just a shame kids get in here and people trash the place I mean there's no need for this looks like it. so yeah please like subscribe um, check out all the social media and uh, I'm gonna do some light painting now so uh, hold on for that might be a bit of an off my set fire to what little hair I have See you next time. Oh. Wait a minute. You can't do light painting and wire wall without doing it upper level production style. So cue the gun rolls.
Oh, 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 oh,